Greetings and welcome to another Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith and while I'm happy you're here, the topic I want to cover today is very sobering. I want to discuss the terrible mass shooting that took place in Orlando. Oh, it's just heartbreaking uh, to see what families are going through. People learning that they've lost a brother or a sister or a parent or a child. Uh, truly a tragedy. It's just hard for me to even imagine going through what those families are going through. Uh, actually, Mr. Roderick Meredith, uh, many of you have seen him before on telecast on Tomorrow's World. Uh, he's actually written a letter to those who uh, participate in this work that we're doing. Uh, you can find more details about that work at tomorrowsworld.org in which he covers these things and says some words. And I just want to read some from his letter that was recently sent out. He writes, we should never forget the headlines. Massacre, Orlando mass shooting deadliest in U.S. history. Shooter pledged allegiance to ISIL. Orlando, the heavily armed assailant who killed 50 people in a packed street nightclub early Sunday in the deadliest shooting spree in U.S. history, pledged allegiance to the Islamic State before he was killed in a hail of gunfire, authorities say. There he was quoting from USA Today, uh, June 13th. We are seeing such terrible things happen within the United States. It's so easy to feel safe in a country bordered by, frankly, allies and then with two oceans on both sides of us. But increasingly, the times are telling us we are not safe. Uh, we're seeing individuals becoming increasingly radicalized. And I would say it's not just in extreme kinds of cases like this. We see a radicalization of our society, uh, but let alone in these cases. We saw it in San Bernardino. Uh, the, actually, the letter, Dr. Meredith talks about some of these things concerning uh, even second generation immigrants in some cases being perhaps more susceptible to some of this radicalization. Uh, I could go on and on about that and different ideas as to why that might be the case, uh, but I actually want to move on and discuss very specific things concerning this event. For one thing, I think all of this certainly reveals the ideology that is coming from the Islamic State and such is an ideology of murder, just murderous hatred. You know, it's amazing, and I, I can't watch all the videos because it's too horrific to see the things they're willing to do to human beings. But even in the Bible, when God talks about the eventual fate of the wicked, those who refuse to repent and just thumb their nose at God, He says, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God takes no pleasure in what He sees people doing to themselves. And yet you see these individuals just glorying in what they're doing, proud of taking credit for what they're doing. It is an ideology of murderous, murderous hatred. Uh, but we see also, sadly, that the Bible is clear. These kinds of things are just the beginning. Uh, Dr. Meredith actually comments on that. He says in his letter, My friends, this Orlando massacre was not just some occasional incident. It was undoubtedly part of the beginning of an entire series of such terrorist attacks and other tragedies that are going to overwhelm our society in the next few years in a way we have never seen before. The Bible says in Leviticus 26 that because our country has continually decided to choose its own way and thumb its nose at God and decide what's right and wrong for ourselves in every area of life instead of listening to His beautiful laws and the way of life He outlines in Scripture. It says there in Leviticus 26 that He will appoint terror over us, that the United States will be exposed to terror and lacking in God's protection. Uh, actually, in particular, you know, I, I, I don't offer a lot of things on these webcasts, but I do want to mention this particular booklet. We have a booklet called The United States and Great Britain in Prophecy. It's available online on our website. Actually, you can get a free copy from us if you want. I hate to come across like I'm trying to hawk something, but at the same time, if you don't know why prophecies like that, like the one in Leviticus 26, uh, places in Deuteronomy 28, prophecies in Ezekiel, if you don't know why they apply to the United States, to Canada, to Great Britain, to Australia, to the nations of Europe, uh, prophecies that apply to countries all over the world and can specifically identify them, you really do need that information. It really is, it lays all of this out for you and regrettably it makes things like this clear. Whenever we see incidents like what happened in Orlando, 
even those of us who know what's coming, we're saddened and our heart is broken and, and our, our thoughts go out to those suffering such terrible tragedy, uh, murders directed at them, a desire to cause others suffer, to suffer. And yet at the same time, as shocking as the things we see on our television are, they're not a surprise to us necessarily because the Bible lays out the reasons for why these things happen. And regrettably, it tells us there's worse to come. Please check out everything we have available on tomorrowsworld.org.